Hi, it's Neil from Quipfolio, and today we're going to look at building a custom power metric. In previous videos, we've looked at our pre-built connectors and using those to create a power metric, but often you're going to want to use your own data and really customize the parameters. So let's go through that process now. So we're going to start the same way we've started before, by going to the plus sign next to power metrics and clicking it. And instead of using any of these service connectors down below, we're going to use an existing data source and we're actually gonna use the example live sales data. Now this should be in your account as well, so if you'd like to follow along, please do. So it's just gonna make sure and confirm that this is what we want. We do want the example sales data, so we're gonna go ahead and click next. Next, it's gonna ask us to select the value of the metric. So this is the main number that we're gonna to wanna to track. Um, you can see it's given us a number of options. These are all fields from within our data. I am most interested in tracking revenue. That's really gonna be the heartbeat of this metric. Next, it's gonna ask us about segmentation. So this is different ways that we can slice and dice our power metric. This is cool because we have our revenue, but we would like to see our revenue by products we sell, customer type, sales rep, country. You can select up to five of these. Now you can see some of them are grayed out. That means that they're not eligible to be a segment. Uh, depending on the data you choose, this will differ. So we'll go ahead and hit next again. So next you can see it's asking us to select a date column. You can see that it recognizes the date column that's already within our data and has pre-selected it. It recognizes that none of the other things that we have here are date columns. So let's go ahead and hit next. We're almost there. Next up, we're going to give it a name, call it My Revenue. It's going to ask us for the format. We do want it in currency, but we do have other options. Show as cumulative would mean that it, it would add to itself going up and to the right over time. And it wants to know, you know whether trending up or trending down is positive. So let's go ahead and hit save. And we are done. We've got ourselves a new power metric that we can explore just like we did with our others. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.